Hi friends, in this video lecture, we will discuss about WBCs that are white blood cells or white blood carcels. This also known as leukocytes. In previous video lecture, we already completed about RBCs or erythrocytes. So here about WBCs. First, when we discuss about the number, so their number is 6000 to 8000 per cubic millimeter in blood. Here, there is a term TLC. This is about the total number of leukocytes, total leukocyte count, which is present in blood per microliter. This is about TLC. Sometimes, there will be increment in the number of WBCs. This increment with respect to this 6000 to 8000 per cubic millimeter is known as leukocytosis and in some cases there may be very rapid increase or very high increase in the number of WBCs. This is known as leukemia or blood cancer. Here the number of WBCs may rises and reaches up to 1 lakh or more than 1 lakh per cubic millimeter while the no normal range is 6000 to 8000 per cubic millimeter. In some cases there may be reduction or decrease in the number of WBCs. This condition is known as leukocytopenia or leukopenia. Usually there will be increase in the number of total leukocyte count when there is bacterial or viral infection but in case of HIV infected AIDS, tuberculosis that is TB, typhoid and malaria the number of WBCs decreases with respect to this number. When we compare the number of WBCs with respect to RBC we earlier discussed the number of RBC that is erythrocyte this was 5 to 5.5 million per cubic millimeter in blood while here 6000 to 8000 per cubic millimeter so when we compare with respect to 1 WBCs there are 600 RBCs in our blood next about the shape of WBCs so WBC shape is highly irregular or amoeboid so this can move through blood capillaries at the time of blood exchange or any type of exchange in body tissue fluid when there is any infection this process is known as diapedesis so this is very unique phenomena again what is diapedesis so this is movement of WBCs through blood capillaries at the site of infection in our body. So this phenomena is only possible by WBCs. Just region because of their amoeboid shape or irregular nature. They can pass easily through any minor spaces. We also discuss about RBC. The size was, the diameter was 7 micron or 7 micrometer but they can pass also through a diameter of 5 micron. Why? Because of absence of endoplasmic reticulum. They are spongy in nature but here they are very very spongy, very very irregular. They are capable to modify their shape. That's why amoeboid in nature. The next one is about size. So they are usually larger with respect to RBCs. When we discuss about color, so they are WBCs, they are colorless. Here the term leuco, leuco is about white or colorless. So these are colorless cells, site for cells or carb cells. Why? Because here there is absence of hemoglobin. Next about the structure, so the structure of RBC is totally different from WBCs. In RBCs we discuss at the time of maturation there will be denaturation of all like nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, mitochondria, ribosome, centriole all these are getting disintegrated 
while here in wbc's everything is present that is found in a normal animal cell next about the types so there is nothing categorization in rbc but here wbc's is categorized on the basis of the presence of cytoplasmic granules as well as further there is categorization that is based on the shape of nucleus so first here this is about on the basis of cytoplasmic granules which are present in cytoplasm there are two type granulocytes and a granulocytes here this is about granules so cytoplasm or the cells carrying granules in their cytoplasm they known as granulocytes while those which are lacking here a for absent so there is no granules in cytoplasm so they are a granulocytes now the differences what are the differences here so first on the basis of cytoplasmic granules as we discuss this is the basis for their categorization here present here this is absent next is about staining can they be stained or not when added with a specific coloring substance so yes granulocytes can be stained but a granulocytes this cannot be stained when added with acidic basic or neutral dyes now nucleus this is very very important so here in case of granulocytes the nucleus is multi lobed there are many nucleus we will discuss sorry there are there is only one nucleus but this nucleus divided into many lobes we will discuss about the details here this is also known as pmnl polymorphonuclear leukocytes here l for leukocytes so this is polymorphonuclear leukocytes or wbcs we can say while here in a granulocyte there is no such type of lobes this is single nucleated without any lobe so this is non lobed now about the types of these two granulocytes further as we discussed earlier categorized on the basis of their nucleus lobe how many lobes are there inside the nucleus on that basis they are categorized into three acidophils carrying two lobe basophils carrying three lobe or two to three lobe while neutrophils this carrying three to five lobe nucleus so we will discuss also about this while a granulocytes here nucleus is also variable in shape there is no lobe but again variable variation is there monocytes here there is single nucleus but this nucleus is kidney or bean seed shape while in lymphocyte nucleus is almost spherical located in the center of cell